Now, let us understand the size of India. The total area of India is 3.28 million square kilometers. Well, this accounts nearly for 2.4% in the entire geographical area of the world. Now, 3.28 million square kilometers is really a very vast land. India covers a large region under its origin, under its influence. But India stands at the seventh place while Russia with 17 million kilometers, million square kilometers stands at the first place followed by Canada and then we have US, China, Brazil and the other countries. Later we have our country India standing at the seventh place. So India is the seventh largest country in the world in terms of area, geographical area. So India's total geographical area is 3.28 million square kilometers while it accounts for nearly 2.4 percent in the entire world geographical area of landmass. Now the entire land boundary of India is 15,200 kilometers while the coastline boundary is 7516.6 kilometers the entire land boundary means that the region which is covering the entire land boundaries of from india from kashmir again back to kashmir covering the points like eastern region kanyakumari region gujarat region then we move on to kashmir while when we talk about the coastline we talk only about the region starting from gujarat belt to the West Bengal region. So that's why the coastline is just 7,516 kilometers while the landmass is nearly 15,200 kilometers. Now, when we observed the location of India, we clearly mentioned that India's latitudinal extent is from 68 degrees to, sorry, 8 degrees to 37 degrees, while the longitudinal extent is from 68 degrees to 97 degrees. So it clearly reveals for us that latitudes we have nearly 30 30 latitudes and 30 longitudes passing through india so when we look at the exact india map you find that the northern region is bit from west to east is bit wider when compared to the north to south it actually appears like that because when we like take the exact count of the latitudes, the latitudes are parallel to each other and they maintain the equidistance between each other which makes us the distance to be very large while coming to the longitudes, the longitudes converge at poles so the equidistance between the longitudes gets converged nearby to the poles. So the number of longitudes may be 30 but it's not equal to the distance of 30 latitudes. That is the reason why it differs slightly. Now, moving on to understand the timeline of India, the time, when we talk about the time, we generally remember about our watches. But here we are not talking about the time of our local nations. We generally talk about the timeline of the entire world, the time zones. When we talk about the time zone, the first longitudes are basically brought into existence to study about the times and to have clarity on the time zone. So the zero degree longitude that is the Greenwich meridian is considered as the prime meridian where it passes through Greenwich in London is the starting point of the time zone. Now from there to come towards India if you take the longitudinal or the latitudinal extent we generally consider only the longitudinal extent for our times. So the longitudinal extent if 68 degree is considered where it starts near Gujarat and when it comes to 97 near the Arunachal Pradesh, there is a nearly 30 longitudinal extent present there. So 30 longitudes are passing through India. So these 30 longitudes when we talk, 30 each longitude it takes 4 minutes to pass. So this 4 minutes to pass is calculated into 30 which means 30 into 4 is equal to 120. So 120 minutes of time difference 
can be observed if 68 degrees is taken into consideration for the Indian Standard Time. So Arunachal Pradesh people would be experiencing two hours of delay because we have 120 minutes of variation there. If we take the other side of Arunachal Pradesh, the people in Gujarat would be missing for the two hours. So in order to avoid the confusion like this, they have taken exactly the middle longitude as the India Standard Meridian Time which brings the clarity on the time. And now, though we find exactly there is a difference of some time when we take the middle one because still we have 15 longitudes this side, 15 longitudes the other side. But the difference would be very less than compared to 2 hours. That's why to maintain a standard time all across the country, they have fixed the meridian as the standard meridian that is 82 and half degrees or 30 degrees would be the Indian standard meridian. So, the Indian timeline will be determined basing on the longitude of 82 degrees 30 inches or 82 and half degrees longitude. So, let us have a brief recap. The total size of India is 3.28 million square kilometers. The percentage of area which it covers is 2.4 in the entire geographical area present in the world. Then, the land boundary of India is 15,200 kilometers while the coastline boundary is 7516.6 kilometers. 30 degrees is a significant degree for us because 30 longitudes pass through India, 30 latitudes pass through India. So, this 30 plays a significant role for us and longitudes are converging at poles. So, the distance between the longitudes is comparatively less when compared to the distance between the latitudes is similar, equal and equidistant. That is the reason why when we find north to south, you find more land when compared to east to west. And then timeline, the time zone of India has been determined and fixed as 82 degrees 30 inches to avoid the further confusions between the time differences. Because in Gujarat, if you take the first longitude as a time base for the time, then you get two hours of difference at Arunachal Pradesh. While in Arunachal Pradesh, if you start, then you get in Gujarat two hours of variation. So in order to avoid this confusion, they have fixed the time zone with the standard meridian of 82 degrees 30 inches. Next, move on to India and the world. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.